I just didn't take playing basketball serious up until I got to seventh grade. Even after that, it wasn't a superstar arrival when he got to Duncanville High School, where at first, Ron was literally forbidden from shooting threes. When Ron first came as a freshman, um, we wouldn't let him shoot outside the free throw line. If you think Coach Ford's claim of most decorated high school basketball player in Texas history is far-fetched, listen to the resume. Since Ron became a full-time starter as a sophomore, Duncanville has gone 93-3. and Ron's teams have never lost the playoff game. And outside of school, he helped the USA's U-17 team win two gold medals. Next year, Holland will play college basketball for the Longhorns, a commitment he stuck with even after Texas fired head coach Chris Beard. Then he plans on taking his talents to the NBA. I'll be able to go in as a freshman and have the best opportunity to go dominate and show that I can be there for six to eight months and showcase my talents and see why I'm a lottery pick. And basketball isn't the only dream on Ron's radar either. I'm trying to start my own businesses with, with just like real estate and stuff like that, just knowing that it's other ways to make money and not only just playing basketball. Rare as this honor is, Holland becomes the fifth Panther boy to be invited to the McDonald's All-American game. A crazy accomplishment for this program. And by the way, Ron is still just 17 years old. In Duncanville, I'm Jeff Kolb.